Hey everyone, Bill McCafferty here. Today is Friday, March 27th, 2020. Hope you're hanging in there. I hope you're keeping your sanity. It is tough out there right now, and there's a lot going on. So make sure you stay grounded, make sure you dig deep, and make sure you take care of yourself. It's really important to stay grounded right now. As I do these videos, I also need to remind myself of all the messages that I'm getting out there to everybody else. Uh, you right now, I got a lot going on um, in business and personally, and uh, I always need to remind myself to stay grounded, stay thankful, and stay focused. So today, I figured, you know what, while I'm out on my walk, let me sit down over by the reservoir and do my episode today outside. Just a little bit of a change of pace. And I think my next couple videos I'm going to do outside. Um, everybody needs some fresh air. And uh, I think a little change of pace would be good. So let's get started on episode 10, a day in the life of an asset manager slash note investor. So as we normally do, let's get started on the client portfolio, which is People's Mortgage Relief 2. Right now, PMR2 has 111 non-performing notes. Uh, mostly made up of non-performing seconds, but I do have some non-performing first. Things are definitely slowing down with the coronavirus. Um, a lot of states and even the feds, uh, the federal government, are putting mandates out and are, uh, you know, put putting out specific guidelines that are going to happen um, over the next 60 to 180 days on everything: foreclosure, uh, mortgage payments, sheriff sales, evictions. Um, everything uh, that's involved in my business. So uh, with PMR2, like I said, we have 111 files. Uh, no new files this week. Uh, did not talk to any new borrowers. Uh, definitely talking to a lot of borrowers uh, with reperforming loans for clients. Um, since the loans belong to the clients, um, I'm sending those borrowers uh, to the servicers um, to see what kind of relief they can get and I'll leave that up to my clients to make that decision I'll tell you in uh, my portfolio what I'm doing um, I received one loss mitigation package back got that processed I sent those options out to the homeowner uh, we'll see what they choose and uh, we'll get that uh, bar situated uh, processed one uh, loan modification um, also processed, uh, processed one payoff. Uh, homeowner sold a property last week. Uh, they closed on Friday. Uh, client got a payoff, a full payoff. Not a huge one, but it was a full payoff on a second. Uh, no new bankruptcy filings. Uh, no foreclosure sales. Um, we did have uh, the foreclosure sale that I was talking about last week in Ohio on Friday. Um, we did. Uh, we actually got bought out at sale on that one. Uh, what happens is uh, we take the property to sale from the second position subject to the first mortgage. Uh, investors, third parties bid at that sale. Uh, third party bought us out at sale. Um, that was in Ohio. That'll take probably uh, four to eight weeks to process and get the confirmation from the judge that the sale is complete. And if everything goes smooth, uh, my client will get a payoff on a second. Uh, I love being bought out at sale. They're the best ones. So that's kind of what's going on in the uh, client portfolio. It's definitely slow right now, uh, really digging deep, uh, making sure all my processes are in place, um, all my systems are in place, because um, we're all gonna be tested right now over the next six to 12 months. Um, I can see a lot of node investors leaving this business and I can see a lot of businesses going under. Uh, that's what I said last week. Uh, you're gonna find out how good your business model is and you're gonna find out how cash liquid you are right now to weather the storm. So in my portfolio, uh, People's Debt Relief Solutions, uh, I was proactive this week. I actually sent a letter out to uh, five of my clients, five of my investors that have actually bought a, uh, a note partial off me. Uh, they bought a stream of payments off me and I'm paying them monthly right now off an existing asset. So I wanted to be very proactive and reach out to them um, because when I sell a no partial, um, you know, I, I hold myself good for all the payments that they bought off me. I'll make sure they get that amount of money and they get paid that and they get their principal and their interest. Um, so what I wanted to do was send them a letter, be proactive, thank them for everything, uh, see if they need anything. 
and let them know because of where we are with uh, the coronavirus that if something does happen to the uh, the borrower um, that they bought the partial on, if that loan goes delinquent, I wanted to have the right um, to either pay them off their full principal and be done with the partial or have a little bit of extra time to get it situated. Uh, so all my clients have a great relationship with. A uh, majority of them already responded back and signed the letter for me uh, saying, absolutely, I'll take the principal back whenever um, and I'd work with you until you got it situated. Whatever you need from me, I'm here to work with you, Bill. So it's a great feeling to know that your clients are here working with you. Um, you know, I've taken care of them for I've taken care of them for a long time. They take care of me. Um, Communication is the key with your investors, so I can't express that enough. Uh, my borrowers that are reaching out, um, I'm just telling them to write a letter to the servicer, uh, supply the information that backs up their letter, um, and let us know what they're asking and what they want. And we're going to try to work with them if it's a forbearance, if it's a lower payment. Um, anything that we can help them out with right now, that's what we're going to do. So that's what's going on um, in both portfolios. I'm not going to be out here long um, on this episode. Just wanted to kind of touch base with everybody. Um, keep your sanity. Stay strong. Stay grounded. Stay focused. Finish off the day strong and take care of that family. I'll see you next time.